The entitlement is real. You guys, I have to admit something. I just realized how to spell entitlement. I was spelling it entitled mint, like I left the D in there, but it's actually entitlement. There's no D, 29 years old, just realizing that now. Can nobody park in a parking lot next to your boyfriend's Get car? Get out of my spot. This isn't- Don't park next to my boyfriend. Are you crazy? Are you insecure? Are you crazy? I know you not just say that to me. <laughs> what is your problem? Get out of my parking spot. You're parked next to my boyfriend. Are you okay? Are you- <laughs> I'm just happy that this girl has the attitude that I would have. I would literally be like, are you all right? Like, are you okay? You better know that I would park there every freaking day. I would park there on purpose if you're gonna talk to me like that. Girl. Yeah. There ain't nothing bitches that sit in the sun and do a shit about it. Are you okay? You're not okay. You're gonna sit there and this boy walk in here with no money. You're not a good guy. He didn't even come in here with you. Well, then you can't back the up. Are you gonna go try your beer right now? Do you wanna talk? Do I don't know, maybe we should get the car. Just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get it. Get it. Let's shoot Seriously. Do you get hurt somebody if you drive your car? I totally respect that. I'm going to warn you. Whatever you do, you should do it. What the fuck are you? Are you even dressed? What? What kind of thing are you going to be? How are you asking for a day to try to learn? Like, you grew up in your car. I look like I'm going to try to learn. This is humiliating, humiliating. And I've got more context for you. Here's some tea. After this video went viral, she lost her job and was arrested. I really respected the girl behind the camera saying, are you gonna get in your car right now? Because she's implying that this woman is intoxicated, which I was kind of getting that vibe. And she was saying, she's like, no, really, like you could hurt someone getting in your car right now. Even though someone is being so rude to you, it's like, you're almost caring for their well-being as a human, but also other humans out there who could be affected by this. I live right there and I've lived there for seven years. I've lived there for longer than him but he doesn't want me to park in front of his house because he apparently has five cars that he needs to park here. <laughs> like, what are the cops gonna possibly say to something like this? So they're trying to bully me, which they do to every neighbor. They leave nasty notes on every neighbor's car, swearing at people not to park in front of their house. And this thinks I'm threatened by her opening she opened my car door where's your car it's not here it's not here i love it that's up to the city bylaws you gotta call them humiliating get a sign here that says residents of this block only my God, it's right there tonight. Okay, well, well she's working here. It's too late. Why it's too late? I'm <laughs> <laughs> I've been here for half an hour. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna park while you're still here so that they don't do the same. I once you leave. Love this so much. I was hoping we would see what happens once the cops arrive. Cause like I said, I'm like, what are they going to say to this? And they said exactly what they should have. Sorry, sir. It's literally public parking. Like the fact that he had that much confidence to call the cops too, thinking that the cop would side with him. You're, you're not the owner. You're I'm knocking on her door lying. right now. Come. Who is her? Who is she? She's on the just second floor. Just say her name. Why She's on just, the second then floor. Then get your foot out of here no. before I call, I'll call the police. Call, call the police. Then step out. Call step the out of the building. No. Step out. My step aunt out is out on the second floor. Who is They've your aunt? They've been living here for 60 years. Who is your aunt? You're not the owner of this building. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. You're doing this in front of my young kids. Why are you doing you're this You're doing thing? it in front of the kids. You don't no. live here, and I'm asking you who your aunt is. Who's your great aunt, honey? Don't. It, it doesn't matter. Now? It doesn't matter. Step out. Look of at my here. kids. Step out of here now. No. Who are you? I will call. Get out of here. No. Get out of here. Get no. out of here right no. now. Who's no. your aunt? Who's your aunt? It doesn't matter. To yes, you. it does. It matters. It very doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. There's a guy who won't get out of our building. He's he's he's, my aunt he's lives holding here. the door my open and he won't step here. out. Then step outside no, until I can. He will not leave the premises. He won't tell me who he's here for. And he's I'm on the, the second floor. My aunt, it's on then the second floor. Then tell me floor. who it is. No. Pardon me. 
are you bored? Honestly, if you are that concerned about who's entering your building, then speak to the owner of your building and get security in there. But it's not your job to place security. Insane behavior. Leave what's going on. This is tyranny. What are you guys doing? For people to walk in one direction? Okay, this this is insanity. You know this. What the? God, this is crazy. They're literally doing their job. How does that affect your life? Like walking on the sidewalk with or without those, it's no different. You think they want to be walking around painting arrows on the sidewalk? Probably not. We had this young lady in our store with her kids buying a large amount of groceries. And she was using a food stamp card, but it got declined. She tried multiple times, even tried removing some items. Nothing would go through and she was about to give up. And the lady behind her saw this, stepped up, ran her card, paid for the entire order and just told her pay it oh, forward so one day. Nice. But there was a lady behind our Good Samaritan. She saw this and got upset and told our Good Samaritan, you obviously have the money, you can pay for mine too. Our Good Samaritan <gasps> respectfully declines this and our Karen just gets irate, telling our Good Samaritan that it wasn't fair for her to do it for one and not everyone and that she only had a small amount of items. It got Ew. so bad that our Karen looked at the first lady and said, your little food stamp car can definitely take care of my item, just pay it forward to me. This is where I get called out there and she immediately starts screaming at me, telling me, don't touch me. Y'all, I didn't have any intention of touching her. By this time, the mother and the Good Samaritan had completed oh their gosh. purchases and they were just trying to leave. But the Karen is in front of them, refusing to let them go anywhere, demanding that they pay for her order. Long story short, the police get called and the Karen gets escorted out of the building. And the entire way out, screaming and crying that it wasn't fair. Y'all stay petty and I'll see you guys next time. I'm just so beyond annoyed that I don't even have anything else to say other than life's not fair, sweetheart. Someone doing something good for someone doesn't mean they have to do it to you. Ugh. Oh, show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman. Show me. Show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman. Show me. Are there no gentlemen left in this? No. Are there no coming. ladies left in this world? Thank you. Move out of the way. No, don't touch me. <laughs> move. I have a right not to be touched. And you have the space to move. Get out of the way. Which one are you gonna be a gentleman? Which one are you gonna be a- No one's moving. No gentlemen, no ladies. No one is moving for you and rightfully so. Someone yelling like this and demanding this with this much entitlement and being so rude about it. Who's gonna be like, oh, I'll do that for you. Yeah. I'm not cheating. What do you have? And you knew when you were born. No, I didn't you know when I born. No, I didn't know when I born. I You guys can't see the comments, but there's comments on this video to give more context and people are saying that the woman was saying like they switched all their seats around so they wouldn't have to sit next to someone on the plane because they're flying during COVID times. As you can tell, everyone has their mask on everything. But if you're just traveling, I feel like you're just taking that risk. Remember that, okay? Ugh, rude. Played her some music to cheer her up as she proceeded to almost hit the person in front of her. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go around. Well the light starts behind them, so you're gonna have to go around. You finish <gasps> oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she has to leave. Just she said, in. um... She said, she said, I'm gonna punch you. She was so mad. It yeah. was so weird. <laughs>
Like just a few cars for some chicken. Oh, for some chicken. What people will do for chicken. Yo, there was a time in my life where I would do a lot to get some chicken wings from McDonald's dipped in honey. Mm, yum. Okay, I would never do this though. Like how in your heart are you that entitled? Oh, it makes me so angry. Crawl down the window. Are you guys having a nice Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Once you leave, we'll have a wonderful. But that's Christmas. not. You know but what? But you don't. You, you know don't. What? You don't hold space, space like that. You, you know don't what? stand in a space and block other people from you, parking. We got here first. You know what? To set an example of no, kindness. No. Why? Why? I'm gonna give you guys the space. Why are you entitled to the space? Merry Christmas. Why are you Merry entitled? You, you explain to me why yeah. you're entitled. Not, yeah. That doesn't. It doesn't work that way. And you girls, like, you know, I hope, explain to me no, why you're entitled to this space. I hope you have the peace in your heart. Same to you. Why don't you uh, tell that, yourself yeah, yeah. that? No, no. That's why we're giving it to you. Why don't you tell yourself <laughs> that? That's not how it works, okay? It's not, you're not giving it to us. That doesn't work that way. Honestly, she really did the whole kill them with kindness act because her being so nice almost irritated them more. You're not doing us a favor. All right, guys, the entitlement is real. I see it all too much and it drives me absolutely nuts. So. I need to get out of here and protect, protect my peace. But leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to keep hanging out with me. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and don't be entitled. Please, please, I don't wanna see any of you in my videos, okay? Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back